What's going on, agents? That's right. We're back with another game called The Beginner's Guide. I'm creating this supposed to be like I think it's created by the people that created the Stanley Parable, or is the least similar like it. So hopefully we're gonna check it out. You know, we're gonna figure out what the heck we're gonna do here. I have my little sil Sylvia drawing drink, saliva drink, whatever the heck they call it, saliva Sylvia. I don't fucking know. It's pretty good. You wanna try it? Mm. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> All right, so beginner's guide. Let's go let's begin the game. Oh, so gonna that game froze, but now it's just the game. Okay. Pretty sure, make sure your audio is on. Yes, I hear the game. It's picking up the game. Hope you guys you guys are hearing the game. Controls the D and left click. Got it. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. My name is Davey Reedon. I wrote the Stanley Parable. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff, and his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around yes, here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. But what I like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. And of course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So, it's 2008, Coda starts making these games, and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November 2008. Loading November 2008. Is he gonna talk? I just need to know if he's gonna talk. Okay. So, that is the Counter Strike map. Uh, I don't know much about Counter Strike. I got Counter Strike Go by through a friend or whatever, and I played it for a bit, but then I dropped it because it wasn't my type of game. And I told him not to give me the game because it was not my type of game. But they got it for me anyway. So, I am thankful for my friends. And my and they're mainly my cousin's friends. Because uh, they live in New York. I live in Connecticut. So, you know, they're. They're, so they, they they have they're more interconnected because they live close by each other and I live here. So, um, yeah. So that's how I got introduced to Counter Strike Go. Played it for a bit. It was really good. A lot of team deathmatch. But uh, I'm used to Call of Duty style games or or at least aiming down sights and stuff and shooting, and knowing that I'll I'll probably hit something. Let's see us go. Not so much. <laughs> 
Oh, anyway, so anyway, let's just jump into this. All right, so. This okay. game is called Escape from Whisper, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. Okay, I was say that. Okay, audio. Can I? Two speaker. Can I? Can I put captions? Okay. The game is loud, but the thing is way louder, so I'm gonna put the captions to see if well. I think the subtitles are correct. Oh no. Did I kill his voice? I'm sorry! Okay, but why is this gun here? I don't know, I have any questions. Alright. Let's get out of here guys, we're gonna get blown up, we're gonna get, we're gonna get killed by the zombies, or aliens, looks like more like aliens or something. Alright, so we're going, we're going, we're going, whoa, what the heck. Security call breach. Hostile alien life form inbound. What the fuck are you talking about? It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere, but then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. But ultimately, we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Enemy force neutralized. Begin shooting activation. Okay, there we go. Um, also, uh, hoping my little face box thing is in blocking way. I don't know how to change it. I'm using OBS to record my little face. And I cropped it out and everything. I don't know how to move it when it comes to um, editing. If you guys know how to do that through OBS, it'd be greatly appreciated. But besides that, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> continuing on. Okay, let's go. All right, so we're gonna go up to here, I guess. I love how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room. Oh, you can. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna die. That. Okay, anyway, moving on. Where's the room we have to go in? Alright, in here. Okay, good, 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 good. okay. Oh, apparently, God. the space Jeez. station has a labyrinth on it. I. Uh, sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. Oh, thank God. Oh, man. That, that, I was not gonna do that, no way. I was gonna, uh, uh, no. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Okay, is that the engine room? Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering the whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you, your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give yourself? I have to kill myself to save everybody? That's a pretty big decision. I mean, I can't leave now. I guess, this I is guess. not a branching point, unfortunately. The only option is to step into the beam. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the stainly terrible thing where if you don't do anything for a while. I guess it is. Well, here we go. Let me pause here for a yeah, second. <laughs> what you All just right. experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. Mm -hmm. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Oh, so this is oh, so we're gonna do it again and see what the bug is. Okay, let's try again. Uh. Oh God! I like you see the level. I was a little bit down there, right there in, the, in that little room. The beam causes you to start floating, and this is an important moment for him, because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. 
or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. And okay, so it's still in 2008. Cool. Whoa. The pass was behind her. Oh, that's pretty deep. Well, I can't move. Oh, there we go. Wait, yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Okay. I have to like turn around and make sure I'm going the right way. Oh, this is this is very wonky. Oh god. Oh jeez. So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. Well, I mean, but the future could not be seen. That's, what is he trying to say? Why does the future keep changing? That's, whoa, what the fuck? Wait, what? Where'd that room come from? Okay, I guess we get to go in this room. She looks, she stops and looks, it becomes clear. Whoa, what is going on? Right. You can only go backwards, so. But if the future is always behind her, how will she find strength? Uh, to confront it. It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Which, to me, is why it works, because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. That one's pretty deep. He's going through some shit. He has to be. Okay. It's dark as fuck. Okay, I can't go up for it. I can only go forward. You're now entering by my entry. Wait, is this A? I'm back, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I can't run, so... Some nice quality, uh, gravel, maybe? I think you call it right. Whoa. And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't get it at all. Nonsense. Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Whoa. Oh. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? Oh god, no! No! Come on! Come on. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. No! I will make it there! I can make it! Come on! Come on! Ah! We can make it! Okay, okay, I'll press enter. That's gonna be too long. That's gonna take too long. I'll be here for a good, like, 30 minutes. Is my phone going off? Shut up, phone! Alright. Whoa, what's that? The game... The game... The game is nothing but a giant block to explaining what's happening. A normal game where you have to scream into a mic every 15 seconds to keep playing. A room that's warm and nice and filled with little ideas for games. St standing on an axe... Staring at a bear for three hours. You would Koda would wall, often tell me that he didn't destroyed. mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. Game filled with chairs, except for one chair floating. Okay. 
Uh, sharks are trying to eat you, Sam Chain and Sea. Wait, I was reading all the games! I um, jumped to January 20, 2009. Ready, set, fish. I was reading the game ideas. Okay. I just realized he likes like he likes like orange colors, if that makes sense. This is like another like orange and like a like he likes a really like bright color with like dark, dark colors, if that makes sense. Alright, so now we're going to like, Well, this door. is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Forget that solution because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're gonna see it a lot. Okay. Cool, I guess. Um, I don't even know what the heck I just did. I really don't know. Oh, again? Is this another solution like that again? Wait, what the heck? Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, I really like that, that lighting. So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve the puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. All right, now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm pressing the button. <laughs> what in the fucking hell is this? What the fuck? How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? That's a good question. I want to see something, but I want to know if he's going to... Okay, don't talk, please. I feel like that's how it is in some actual games. Like, the, the developers of games, they create all this stuff, but then they run out of time or do to some bugs or something they couldn't fix. They leave it outside the game, but it's still implemented in the game. Like how in some like games where it's bugged or glitched, like, you can find a fix for it within the game files itself because it's there. They just never implemented it because it was, it was either broken or it didn't fit the game anymore or it wasn't, you know, worth putting in anymore. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's how, that's how I feel. And I think in Watch Dogs, they, like, for, they figured out, like, the files to make the game look like the trailer. But I might be wrong. Alright, so, I guess we're going to continue moving. Alright, so, we are now exiting. Aha! Uh -huh. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. March 2009. Okay, so we, we went a few months. The great and lovely dis. Whoa. Oof. I got a really, like, creep feeling. Ah. This is really bright. You can probably see, like, the s screen, like, glow on me. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. So, in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Huh. I know a little to bit make all engines. of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. That's cool. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. 
you might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear boxy corridors. I want to stay up here so I can talk. Um, yeah, I, ta I, I made, I played on with, uh, I think it's an engine, or it might be like a coding kind of thing. It was called Game Maker. I'm pretty sure you all these whole bunch of you guys probably heard it already. It's basically you put in your you know and your um, spr spurts, spikes, sprites, sprites. I think they're called. I really can't speak. Uh, and you then start programming enemies and what is what you know. If person jumps on block, block is out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But you guys probably heard of Game Maker, so I'm just letting you guys know. What the fuck? What the fuck is up with this map? I don't know if this is safe. Fuck. I hate heights. Even in oh, oh, even in this. Oh my god. Even if it's fake. Look, look this isn't even real a realistic thing. It just scares the living shit out of me. Oh man. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, oh my god. Alright. Alright, let's land on these triangle things and just fall this way. Oh man. Oh god. Oh man. <sighs> okay, we're okay. We're alive. We're slowly making it down. Coda, you're a crazy person when it comes to heights. I'm sorry, but you're crazy. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, that's scary. Right. I guess I was supposed to land on there, but I didn't. Yeah, I'll, I'll... Oh, I landed on it. Oh no. We did it. Also, it just be the camera moving. Is the camera moving? It looks like the camera's moving. I I'm getting distracted! <laughs> Alright, anyway, moving on. Ooh, is that something I can get? Is just like a light source? It looks like it's just a light source. Okay, where are we going now? Whoa, what is that? What was that? What was that? Hello? prison. Funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Full hour? This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. I would assume as much. I think he just did that as like a joke. Like, yeah, here you go, have some playable games. Uh, Alright, anyway. Hey, right, look, there's nothing in the middle on that one. Interesting. Ooh, what's this one? Also, what's up with the sound? Is the sound purposely doing that weird audio thing? Like audio static -y noise? Or is that just me? It's the puzzle again. With the exact same solution as the last time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. Better. I really like like this like underlighting effect. And see, like it looks like it looks like dark and like a really bright color, like an orange red. I don't know. Maybe this is me interpreting it wrong. Maybe this is decides to choose those colors. Whoa, what? 
you there. Here, Coda begins up, using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Yes. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Yes, there are enormous prisons and enormous prisons that spent hours. And yes, there was floating colored blocks. Yes, there were those things. Uh, I think it was two. Yes, it's been enormous prisons. Uh, that's the above. You've been there. Now this is important to you. So you have to get the puzzle with two doors and switches. Um, yes, I did. The last thing I did before coming in, yeah. No, I don't remember how we go through a puzzle. I prefer to not to tell you after all. We just met. Uh, oh, that's, that's cool. That's a good question. Uh, I guess we would nice correctly here. Again, perfect. Now please tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the side. I don't remember how I solved it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. I didn't solve it. Someone else told me. Trust me, you don't want to go over there. What? But I do know! You just, you just press the thing, open the door, quickly press it, and let the door close behind you, and then there's a switch on the door. Open the door. What the heck? Think harder, please. Try hard to remember. It is important so we can get out of here. We escape. must escape from prison. Can you think harder? There must be more. Please tell us how to reach the end. Is that it? Hello. Can you get up there? Friends. Can't open it. Okay. Put it on then. Not speaking. What the fuck? Oh, well, how'd you get here? Was there a puzzle you had to uh, pass through here? No, I've been here this entire time. Yes. Do you want to know how I solved it? Oh, what the heck? Yes. Do you want to solve it? No, we actually find blank space between the doors. The form is interesting. Have you seen it? I wouldn't care about the space between the doors. Actually, now that you mention it, I remember feeling strange as I passed through it. I don't recall the space between the doors. There is a space between the doors. Did you just think? Yeah. I've seen it. Don't think too hard about it. You'll see it again soon. Okay, I guess we're leaving again through the same way. Yo! Well, we're going down now. Where, where are we going? And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. Okay. What's down here, though? It's a lamppost. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination, which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. I mean, there's lamppost. Okay, where are we going now? What month? April, same year, 2009. The game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Really? Is it true? I want to leave one. I want to leave one. Nice room. Not. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. 
This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Huh. So these are all written by him. Okay. How do you beat this game? I'll try to read them all as much as possible. I'll try. But there's a whole, since there's a whole lot of them. No point to this. Oh, mama. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. That, that's a good way of putting it. Can you guys hear, hear me? Whoa. What is happening? Hello? Reasonable. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. But it's ironic, isn't it, that in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me, that I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Coda's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. I have nothing better to do with myself, so I don't really care. Alright. Be afraid. You care. I just saw a flying penguin. Let me tell you. I was in a suggestive state of receipt. I don't feel like living because there's nothing just because that. I never want. Holy fuck. I would never want, want to see again if nothing will be as beautiful, man. I'm crying now. I'm crying, ripping out my eyes. I must go do that. Oh, what are you going through, man? How's the, their... How's their wood and grass and crack and concrete here? What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Well, let's share this, this cavern. Boring. I can assure you, you guarantee that there's an air coin somewhere here in this place. The sailors are looking for it. I mean, I don't get that reference. Oh, can I jump down from there and get all those other ones? Hey guys, looking for someone to talk with. That's the right way. Alright, so we're gonna quickly uh, turn around. Also, if you guys can see me still, sorry. I stood up straight because it, 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 my back just kind of used up on me. Alright, so let's get these. Oh, okay, never mind. Can't get those. I guess we're just gonna have to skip them. We're just gonna read the ones we can read, right? What the heck is that? But I wanna know what those notes say! He wrote them all! I don't know what he said. I need to single one of those. I refuse to move. Good ass, but. Okay. I need to go to the freaking bathroom. Go. Recognize me, please. There's nothing here. Go back. Don't listen to that guy. <laughs> A free t shirt. Uh, what? Need other side. Door, why are you so. Door, or how open. Open sesame. <laughs> what was this one saying? Makes game includes door, can't open door. Thanks. 
you right. When you put it like that, like that, like that, you right, right? Someday I will meet the person who made this. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Right. I help people because of the internal good feeling I get. New room! Okay, I'm just gonna do this. And then you guys can mute them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to skip them. There's so many of these. And I'm gonna go over them just to make sure the game recognizes that I read them. Or quote unquote, read them. Well, that's a lot of them on here. I just wanna see if there's an achievement for this. I really want the achievement. That way I don't have to come and never do this again. I mean, I don't think there's a different way of doing this. There's not a Stanley Parable where you can just completely ignore him. It's kind of a straightforward path. Okay, was that one? I don't know what that one says. I'm not safe. Alright, out of all the ones that I want to read is the one that's like pretty deep. Okay, Today I learned you cannot fall off. That's cool. <laughs> Ooh. Is that a natural painting? Or is that just little two flops? Stop faking. What is going on? Art. How's that? How's it going? Help, I'm trying to speak. Oh, this is issues. Painting. What does it mean? It's a good question. I'm trying to read all these things, but it's like this whole running button, which I kind of don't like. It's like the Stanley Parable, no running either. Alright. Can I crawl? I can crawl though. That's nice. <laughs> I just do this. Can you hear those whispers? There's like whispers. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hear those whispers. Alright, what's this? Mommy, yes, we are all here now. There must be a reason though. His terrible secret, he will keep, keep kept it all. I beat the game. <laughs> More rooms? At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. Okay. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Oh my god, I've been here for a year now. Right here. Help. Help. It doesn't make sense to the door won't open. Shit, how do I solve it? The developer, answers please. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. Okay, I'm back. And trust me guys, I've been gone for... <sighs> 30 minutes? Like, not even 30 minutes. Like, 10, maybe 15 minutes. Mother called. She wanted Chinese food. I got order Chinese food for her. And now I'm back. Very, uh, rip my recording, uh, size. It's gonna be probably like 7 megabytes or something. Not megabytes, sorry. 8, like, 8 megabytes. Gigabytes. Fucking Christ. Not megabytes. Why do you say that? Alright, so let's just go. We gotta, we gotta get through this as much as possible because the food's gonna get here and I don't know how long that is. And I don't want to cut this short. I want to do this in all one, one whole playthrough. Alright, anyway, so let's open this. Alright, so let's continue. All right. Jesus Christ, oh man. Just voices. What is it? How do you leave notes? That's a good question. <laughs> 
Is that a typewriter? They are. I want to typewrite. Beautiful lamppost. What is happening? I don't understand. May. Dude, June 2000. Porn stars. Okay, this too. one is tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Okay. I'm surprised I even figured it out that, that fast. Wait, what the heck? Dude, don't tell me we just did a whole circle. No, we're going down here. Okay. Music, though. See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Alright, let's do this again, guys. I'm sorry. I am I, I don't even know what's going on. This is why I'm recording in the morning. I was recording a little bit last afternoon because I was home alone. And all of a sudden, I still need to start recording. And I'm, like, halfway into it. Everybody wants to start coming home all of a sudden. Alright, so, hopefully no more distractions. It was my little brother. Hopefully I told him that if my mother gets here... That he can open the door for her. That way I can just edit the, his, you know, the background noise out. That way I don't have to deal with it. Um, not that I don't deal with my mom. It's just I'm trying to get this playthrough over with. And with so many distractions, it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> Except for some reason, Cody gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's going to start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay. Cool. Here's version two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's no furniture. How about the TV with surround sound? Oh, the should go in the center of the room. A refrigerator. How about a giant hole in the ground. Uh, it's not a giant hole in the ground. Uh, what about on the wall of the room? Let's put a huge picture of a horse. Uh, I really like a wash machine. Uh, utensils that line up <laughs> on the wall. Okay, he, he's just not gonna do anything. All these answers are in her, no point, just no point. Make sure you light up the room a bit. Uh, skylight, ceiling, let's open up the room. I'm thinking a 10 by 12 breeze. <laughs> it says electric 6 inch soft LED ceiling light with horse and trims. Holy fucking Christ. You put a Tesla coils in the center of the room in each corner. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do that one. Yeah. It's a lamp. A table. You need a table. Who are you? What are you exact? Well, what exactly are you doing to this form? I'm pretty sure none of my is making a difference. Tables were invented in 1935. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that one. Alright. What is. Uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. I like the music. So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he yeah. comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Please walk. Oh, okay. This guy will need you to escape. Oh. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care of remember each step. First, click on the table. Good, go over the floor frame and click it to turn this light. Okay. Now turn the floor lamp in this room on the right now. Alright, this thing. Now on the left side of the sofa, move it over to the little bit of the left. Finally, touch the, slope, the shelves. That's it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to. Okay. Is the start over here? Oh, that is really, really great. Okay. Okay, we're going back, guys. See who this prison is. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. 
Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created, and the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. What do you mean? Alright. Came out of the building. There has to be a way of saying that it still is a prison, but just not the other kinds of prison. That, if that makes sense. Let me make this phone call. Oh, I can't even turn the screen this time. Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me. I'm you after you escape prison. You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? Yep. The French. Uh, it's a conversation. Is. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Okay. Uh, yep. It was the furniture maze. That's where I am right now. I'm so glad to know well, that I got out of it eventually. What's it like to escape? Actually, I'm already forgetting what's like being in prison mostly. Like, okay, it's strange, but in a way, I'm kind of miss being in prison. I feel completely still and mildly in motion at the same time. That's pretty deep stuff. I'm gonna put that one. Do you feel any different? Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and then will be the exact same as before. No, I'm really the same person now I was. I'm really the same person now as I was back then. Actually, it actually does change. I feel, I don't feel like the same person. I feel like you would just escape from Oh, good. That's nice to hear. That makes you feel really happy. It just kind of does it, you know? It's still me, but somehow it's hard to describe. Remember to enjoy those who... Remember to enjoy being who you are right now. Last. I know that from experience. Wait, if you're me, then how'd you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? No, I think I'm the first person to call back. Uh, yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. I mean, that's what happened, right? I think so. What did they tell you? What did, did you have to do to get out? All they told me is to be sincere. They asked me how I felt about being a Christian. They just talked to me for a while. I asked if going to be sincere. What? That freak you? How does that work? Listen, you can't, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Just be sincere. It will make sense. Uh, just be sincere? Sincere about what? That's exactly what you need to figure out in order to escape. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? I would like to assume so. 
August 2009. In 2011, so what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Okay, follow the path. To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Let's go in here. Oh my goodness, I'm glad uh, by how you showed up. I thought I might have to clean the entire house by myself and write miserable about it. There one knows lonesome hands make lousy domes. You'll Don't notice that the me. quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Soundtrack for this. I would definitely listen to it. Alright, don't worry about me. A place that you place this nice, I'll be gladly to stay here all night. A lousy home makes homeowners. Are we cleaning this whole place? I like to say this. I like this. Well, now you might just be getting a little bit ahead of yourself now. Why don't we start cleaning? Then you decide whether you can do it. You can do it all night. I'll finish up here in the meantime. Can you clear the table? Much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Now please run to the bedroom and go back. Okay, so where's the bed? This way. Yep, here we go. That's cool. While you're in there, just straighten out the rug a bit. All the little details matter. Being a house cleaner, how'd you end up doing this job? It's been a long time I've seen a house this messy. Uh, how did you end up with this job? You know, I was lost. A friend dragged me along uh, at a time when I was particularly desperate for cash. Turns out I never felt so good doing something for money when never did I like being my own home. I might have found some, I might have got some demons. I face. Yeah. Oh, speaking of demons, someone put this couch on the list. Would you come out and treat these pillows? Yeah, sure. Oh dear. Looks like someone spilled the drink over the couch. Maybe mop, mop it up as long as you're over there. Mop it up. Play on the floor. Okay. I feel compared to share an incredible cheesy personal insight. Are you okay with that? Make it Especially cheesy. No. No, it's stupid. Sorry. Never mind. No, tell me. No. It's just. No, why don't you come do that? No, you can tell me. No, don't, don't, don't hide your feelings. Watch this. Watch this. Last I checked, the tub is cleaning. How about you scrub down the best can? No need to be confused from perfect. We're all just human. I mean, we are. Alright, let's scrub it down a little. Yep, there we go. Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, can you put them back on the shelves? Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Don't look at that. He used it too. Now then, how about you come to After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. Okay, I did. House cleaning is so difficult. How do you do it? Are all these. All the houses this easy to clean? Do these chores ever end? Do these chores ever end? Darling, let me tell you something. Whatever you do, you absolutely gotta own it. Otherwise, it owns you. Why don't we. Why don't we. Be, yeah, so, why don't. 
be with the I know that Kuda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time, just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Uh, President Yu wants to smooth out the rug in the park, believe it or not, just me on this one. Is it like saying when that is life is always repeating in motion? Maybe this is my interpretation of it. Like, like um, no matter what you do, you're always gonna run into the same. It feels like life is going to be the same, doing the same thing over and over again. Which is one of my fears, by the way, believe it or not. Um, is I don't want to be doing a dead end job. I don't want a dead end job to be stuck. You know, to be stuck doing the same thing over and over and be unhappy about it. That's why I found YouTube and it just helps me be more happy. When I'm angry, I get calm when recording. And it just, it feels nice to do something that I enjoy. And with YouTube, I can record different games, interact with you guys. YouTube is something that can be way greater, even though YouTube does a lot wrong. But as long as you can build a good community around you, you're good. All right, so let's clean up this uh this tub. Earlier, when I said I had really cheesy thought, I was gonna say that it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, it takes care of you. Don't know why I felt so weird saying that. That's true. Wow. And I'm talking a lot and everything, and you know, I'm trying to get through it, but it's like I want to share my thoughts with you guys. It, it's to me, it's a personal connection, and I can relate a lot to what is happening here because um, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I didn't take care of myself, so you know, I didn't take care of my soul either. It took me a lot of patience, and I know I had a, I met my girlfriend that I have now. She took me out of a dark place, and I'm glad that she was there for me. So if you guys have someone close, a best friend, or, or just a friend that's usually there around you when you need them, or a girlfriend, or a friend, husband, and wife, just try to find someone who will be willing to listen to you. And to take what you say into consideration, actually, like, understand you. And try to put themselves in your shoes. I don't know. That's just me, though. I get that's the weird thing to say to someone you just know. You're right, that's pretty cheesy. But there's a bit of truth in it, no? That's not the truth. Anyway, so, housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please clean, clean up the books? Thanks. Okay, I'll do that. Did it. Okay, this puzzle with the treasure. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Okay, this feels covered home to miss home. Dot. Question. Okay, what's that? But, you enjoy of course, this? it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. But I was enjoying that. I definitely enjoyed that soundtrack. It was a really good one. I really want... Hopefully there's a downloadable little soundtrack for it. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. Yeah, sadly when you're trying to interpret someone else's life, you could interpret it wrong. This one gets a bit goofy. What? Why did you come here today? 
Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? I can't tell what you that says. Was it to make your relationship more meaningful? No. We came here to become perfect, but no one is perfect. This workshop can teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, what do you think about the way of your own life? Who you know who is well developed as a person and make you feel disgusted with yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful, I intend to make you that person. Perfect is within your grasp. A question is not is not how we do it, but how do we become do it effortlessly? This is easy. It's so easy. It is so easy. About halfway through the game, the perspective shifts effortless. This key, how do I take it? And you play as the teacher. And suddenly you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Now I'm back. Alright, so let's do this. Continue over the teacher and we're, we're walking around. Okay, so this key, how do I achieve no effort? Oh, it just, I really just says stuff. The stuff you can't pick is the stuff that he's feeling. I still love you, it's just that you make me feel cold. Being alone is be awful. Well, well, let me tell you right now, it is an effortlessly, and then it's not the right answer. Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise until drinking is not pretty in my life. If you are torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. To seek out there's the other things for me that do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. Ew, I'm developing a cyst gross. Seek out the only thing that was the easiest, simplest path forward. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Anyone want some ecstasy after this? Question mark. But there's no true path. There is no true. There's no path. What if I'm not a good teacher? Holy shit, you guys, something's coming out of the back room. Look out. Um, do, do what is easiest. Do, do what is simplest. Feel what is true. No, nothing, no one. It's coming for you. It's going to destroy you. Everybody, run! Can't see what is thinking. You can't say it. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way, and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. Oh, no, it's 2010. All right, good, good, good. Oh God. I don't know if this is going to save on my hard drive. Hopefully it does, because... This one took a lot bad. longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Oh, he's done talking. I thought he was going to stay talking. All right, stage. All right, I'm back. Hopefully for the last time. All right, let's do this. Hopefully he didn't speak. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It's your dream to become a photographer and animals. Professionally, a fucking guys can't speak. This is your one chance to learn something from her and to gain, to gain something to see. Go on and say something to her. 
Hello. Hello. That's it? That's not a conversation. You actually need to converse with her. Being a, being a human being. Do it again. Um, I'm super scared right now. I like you. I'm super scared right now? No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I, res I was reserved. I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For all the reasons, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it was just you need a better feeling of the setting. There are a lot of people around us. To give you, to give, I'll just give you some props for it, but these phones bounce. Touch them, present you nearby, and I will not talk to her. Happy, happy, focus, success, wise. All right. Uh, what are the sacrifices you had to make? You're messing it all up again. What do you want from me? You faked out in the conversation to get personal that quickly. Do you realize how important it was for me? I'll never get another ping. Everything's riding on this. Hmm. I want to try something. Step back from the stage. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the so are we done? This looks like destination, right? Well, that is creepy. Okay, I'm stepping back from the stage. You. What did you do? I didn't do anything to you. Let me out. Why did he trap us? I mean, this is my question. Why did he trap us? Okay, I guess we'll just, uh, keep going. Just, uh, keep going. It's just, the game ends working. with this, this eerie working. premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw to hide himself away, which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. This looks like he slowly starts taking long, longer of his trip. Play a game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Quick to begin again. What's going on? Help a blind, can't see anything. What's going on? Something I'm speared on the radar. Help a blind. And then my vision suddenly turns black. Oh, it's the door. Help a blind. There's a giant door. And my vision went black. Can't do something to fix it. Tell me how to solve this. Oh no. Oh no! What's going on? Wait, what's going on? Why is it? You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. The only way to stop is to speak something else. I can't stop making these things. Yes, that's the truth. Okay. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So where's that coming from? But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual, like 
You know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. I'm out of ideas, because it's what he just said. Keep going, keep talking. I thought this was going to be easy. You're doing it, it's working. I'm alone. We're going to be okay. What is happening? Coda, no! His it's games wrong. are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Alright, so we're getting near the end of the game. Here yeah, in December. Okay, so. Hello? Where did this island come from? Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I've talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. I am lost. When I try to create, I feel him. Oh no. What happened? Did something change? I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me. Just burn it again. Wait, are you looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. I need to see it. You have to take me to it. Let's put that one. I can do that. If the last game problem. featured Coda talking explicitly problem. about his creative frustrations, this one turns it's it up to 11. Oh, now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting Deal. signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, Perfect. he keeps making games. He keeps on, throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Here's the puzzle. Because oh, from my perspective at the time and, and what just doing? what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet, and so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Uh, I recognize this. I do. Oh, wonderful. Can you tell me how to do it? Oh, God. First, you have to open up the door. Okay, now what? Now you have to close the first door. Alright, what next? Alright, so... Now you just press the switch here. And then open the door. Ha! That was you so simple. I can't talk believe I never yourself this. out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Okay, man. Sounds like someone's crying in the background the music. These are just some words on some wall. Trust me, you'll see. You just have to say your work is fun and easy. You have to say the game a little bit simple and joyous that you 100% of the time. Alright, we can't game this effortlessly. Ah, that feels wonderful. But it wasn't true. Don't worry about it, just keep talking. Keep saying the creation is easy. 
When I feel... When I make a game, I feel completely energized. I'm lying to myself. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like... Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. It's not. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. Going. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. He's so trapped. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. Please don't tell me anything bad happened to Koda. Dude. Incredible. That's it. I agree. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. Is this his last game? Been an hour and 30 minutes, but I know I can cut off to like an hour. Well, I hope. The machine. Got it. Ma'am, I'm glad to see you arrive safely. We've captured the machine. We're waiting for you. You want to get interrogation whenever you like? I tend to be quick. Very good. Just be warned, someone called, someone called the press, so you might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing. You should, you know, I'm about to call the self Dakota. Oh, what the fuck? Ma'am, ma'am, How do you capture that thing? What's happening? Is Koda a female? And of course, it's the machine. Your work kept us up. Don't do that, no! No. What's happening? My followers or friends. I feel like he would saw them as my followers, not my friends. If they falls to me to deliver bad news, the machine will now apologize to us. But this is not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. Let us pay retribution. Follow me, we will destroy the machine. Oh boy. Oh, what the heck? We're back at the play. Let's see if the lights can turn on this thing. Oh, what the fuck? A gun? But there's nothing here. What the fuck? Am I shooting out the textures? But uh, I'll make sure your work dies here. Am I literally killing his work? Isn't that what you're scared of? 
having to live without your precious creations, having to deal with yourself. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would oh, never no. occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. No, so, what don't. if I did it for it? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? No. Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning to back into his work? Don't help someone who didn't ask for help. I know that sounds stupid, but. If someone's going to something you want to help them and you're trying to help them but they don't want your help, don't force help on them because you could always make things worse. I'm just I'm stating that now. You can't make things worse if you try to force help on them. Alright, so we're going to keep destroying stuff until the next story part happens. I think I have four. Oh, okay. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all is just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Put down your weapon, uh, speaking. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need, to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in... What's up, guys? And that's right, we're back. And my, uh, my memory card got full. Not memory card, my hard drive got full. So Audacity stopped recording my voice. So hopefully everything is well. Um, I don't know if it's going to... I'm gonna try to see if I can continue off. Um, so at some point in, during my video before, you'll probably see that the audio stops recording my voice. So you, I'll let it play till the point where I pause the game and then like where we are right now, and then we'll continue. All right. So anyway, we'll continue now because I was you know what I mean, guys. Hopefully, you guys know what I mean. All right. So let's continue. Much they enjoyed his games. It was the best feeling. It's the absolute best feeling. It made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Okko didn't like that, did he? Or she? Um. So anyway, Koda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of oh, so he takes off for, for sure. a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. She never shares someone else's work without their permission. What's the same? Okay, let's do this. Let's say the last game. Alright. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. It's because you... It's distant when you hear me, or you... 
showing off his work without his permission. I'm sorry. But that's this room shit. actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience yes. is really miserable. Uh, okay. The game goes that. beyond not being meant to be played. It actually oh, seems to despise me. the player for trying to play it at all. I'm sorry about that, guys. So, so. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter, and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Thank God. Is a hole man that hurt my eyes. I like how these two like walls. Still. Gosh, Jesus Christ, my eyes. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Are you saying you modified the game so that it ends like that? That he didn't actually finish the game like that? Because that's... Wow. The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me. Because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him. But I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. One, five, one, six. Oh no, that was supposed to be a six. Let's do one. Alright, hold on, we're gonna put this back to two. Okay, be careful, alright, six and then seven. And there we go. Alright, so we're gonna make it to six. Stand, I guess. Waiting, we're waiting, and. Alright, we're safe. What did you do, Dakota? I feel like he did something, I'm sorry, but it's just like, I feel like he, him releasing the games did something to him. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges, and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. Maybe that's I can open this door for you, so let me do that. Maybe that's what happened. Koda no knew that he was modifying his cre creations. Was I a failure make for a, not understanding this game? For making it possible. I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution but i feel it somehow i feel like i failed and i don't understand why i remember it's june of 2011 i'm playing this for the very first time and as i'm playing i'm thinking to myself i don't know this person i have no idea who this person is it wasn't the guy i knew it wasn't my friend I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. Yeah, that's true. He has like these iconic, like an iconic three dots. Have you seen them? I think I've at least pointed it out somewhere in here. If not, I'll try to see if I can put I it in I just felt right so now. strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped. 
and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Say. Where did I screw up? I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? Just that's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Told you. So she shouldn't have shared her work. Or his work, sorry. In um, the public like that, without um, his her his permission. I keep seeing her. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt. <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. I wonder at times whether you think I'm making these games for you. And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. You've infected my personal space. That that is possible I did begin to plant solutions in my work somewhere hidden between games if there's if there was an answer or a meaning would it make you any happier would you stop taking my games and showing it to people against my wishes it's called it I know it so you shouldn't you shouldn't have done that Giving them something that is not yours to give, violating one boundary that keeps me safe. Would you stop changing my games? Stop adding lamp posts to them? He was. He was adding solutions. He was changing the whole thing. He poisoned his games. He was. He modified all the games to have solutions, to have an ending. So he's saying half the stories that he's telling me right now was wrong? Or made up? And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. Would what does you... that mean? Would you simply let them be what they are? When I when I'm around you, I feel physically ill. You desperately need something I cannot give you. I literally do not have it. This way. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. Oh, he's. He was thinking, overthinking everything he, that his friend was making. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than me. I realize that it doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine. You are not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks and that you will make peace with the things you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. And when you finally see it, see what I'm talking about? Don't say anything. So you're saying he added this door? That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please, 
I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, well, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading. And all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Well, epilogue. Don't tell me that's the ending. What happened to him then? Train. More, 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 more more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Solution, solution, solution. You've been going through some shit, man. I feel like that's how it is when you're great. When you're I guess if great. someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games. Maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Maybe. Or maybe it's you. You like making prisons. Well, but that can play. Didn't I? Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Don't say that by yourself. We all fuck up. But then again, we're all human. with all the uh, words. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. I'm sorry, mate. I don't know what to tell you. Dude. Whoa. I was gonna say time to leave, but it looks like there's more. What now? I don't know, mate. Don't know what to tell you. I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just going to... Okay. Don't leave. Come back. Bro, you miss the fuck up. I know you probably didn't do it, but you gotta learn from your mistakes. You gotta live with them. Because you only have one life, and if you can't learn from your mistakes, then what's the point of being human? Because no one should be perfect. 
no one should be allowed to continue the card But that's just my thoughts. Easy to pick up. Alright, I'm gonna make a running start for it. Uh, yeah! I need it. Look at that. Fast. Are we back at the same spot? No. In a different area of, like, that train station looking thing. Looks like it's used to be easy for now. Is that, is that the laser thing? The, the core? Don't tell me I'm actually gonna die this time. Fuck. Sound like rain. Doesn't look like it's raining, no, it's not. It looks clear as day. So, something's happening. Is it that thing? That is pretty though. That is a wallpaper that I can edit on Photoshop. How do I take screenshots F12? Yep, there we go. Screenshots. Definitely gonna edit that in Photoshop. It's pretty. I think that's pretty. That is mind boggling though. When you look at it, it's moving like that. Oh my god. That's what we work right there in the center of it all. Is this what he feels like lost in an infinite maze? Because I mean, that's that's what I would think how yeah, you would feel if you were him. Well, I'm waiting for something to happen. Still going up. That's it guys, I think that's the end of the game. Turn back. Written by Helena and by Helena. Who's R? There's no things. That's that's one powerful message. I hope you found some peace, man. Um, don't really know what else to say, but I want to wait to see till we go to the title, just to make sure that's everything. Must forget. Yep. Wow. Sorry, I hit the microphone. I got to sketch my ear and set my headphones. Well, guys, that was the beginner's guide. Painfully long episode of uh, distractions, not being focused, and a whole bunch of other things. Well, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you guys have any more deep emotional type of guy to let me have a nice bit, deep and emotional games, let me know. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later agents.